Second look, all clear. My nightmare would be to see this loving mother getting a tattoo as well. It probably means the sterilization team has moved on to another troop. Except the matriarch, everyone is at risk. And the procedure has been performed unnecessarily on those who have put their reproductive days behind them already. And there's Nora. Look how easy they are with me, when I am the only one around. And there's poor Essie with the tattoo. And there's the Troika in Nora's troop. Why are they suddenly all appearing together? And they are all heading down. Cos, someone is feeding monkeys there. Okay, I think I will leave Nora's troop behind. Our gang. Looks as though Tammy has a suitor from outside. But as far as I know, she is infertile. Everyone has Cheeto's lips. They have all been foraging the nectar of Camellia. It is winter, traditionally a lean season. Substantial natural goodies don't come by readily now. They have to get by. I'm
Perhaps the mothers know how harsh it is for the babies to rely on a diet of nectar and greens only, and they relent a bit. And most of them are overjoyed when a casual feeder comes along with goodies. And it's over now for Dippity. Poor Dippity has missed out on the goodies. But he's nosy, he wants to know what he has missed. But you can't just barge in and disrupt. He may have it in his mouth, but only as a pacifier. And so far he seems to be holding it only. But for how long? Look! It's him again, Fifi's lover. And he seems to be getting bolder each time I see him. And his attitude has certainly pissed someone off. Perhaps he thinks he has a chance for the top job in our gang. But he's certainly not winning any support, and worse he's being seen as an intruder only, and one on Fiffy's invitation. That does not bode well for her and Ridgie's family. But she's too deep in the grip of passion to think about the consequences. And there's Ridgie's family over there. And Spanky's family is here too. The lowborn and the disgraced are really sidelined during the mating season. But at least the kids don't feel the heat, just not yet.
and its sprightly's turn for the pacifier 